Packers. So, going to camp this season, coming off the season you guys had, talk about the expectations going to 24. It's a little, a little bit of a different team and everything. Just the overall, what are your thoughts? Kind of, how do you build off last, last year's progress? Yeah, last, last year was, we, I mean, we've been cycled up and down and up and down. Two years ago, that was a very up senior heavy team. Last year was a lot of inexperienced guys, um, and they, they kind of put things together as the season went on. And to get uh, a road NCS win over Redwood against a solid team, and then to compete really pretty well against uh, El Cerrito, who went on to, to win the, the D2 championship, uh, gave all those young guys a lot of experience. I mean, we had, we had 12 games last year. So we got a bonus look at kind of where we could be this year with those extra two games. You know, the biggest thing we talked about is getting stronger in the weight room. Uh, El Cerrito, I mean, their speed was difficult to deal with, but their, their line was thick too, and they, they wore us down. It was a rainy night out there. And so going into the off season in January, we met. I just talked to them about, you know, you're going to fix all those problems in the weight room. And uh, this is probably some of the base, uh, best weight room attendance we've had. How would you say you've grown in the last year? Coach said you've become a lot more of a leader, so to say, within the team, maybe how would you say you personally grow? Yeah, I think me getting in last season really opened up what I could do and help this team and lead them. Um, yeah, just from last season, it just helped me out getting up with them. What would you like throwing us to Austin? Uh, it's actually, <laughs> throwing to Austin, it's actually pretty good. He's fast, he can catch, he's, he's got some good agility. Um, he's pretty good, yeah, I like it. The roster... Last year we talked about a lot of the inex you know, you kind of brought up a lot of the inexperience, especially defensively. Brand new eleven. Um, yeah, literally everywhere then, except for Brooks Davis. Pretty much. Yeah, uh, yeah pretty much. Um, offensively, you know, so just the change of quarterback mm -hmm. and everything, losing Mankins early in the season. Yeah, that was a big loss. You know, talk about this roster because now a lot of the guys you have coming back were guys that were in that in that playoff run. Talk about them, their develop, their growth, and their, their development going into camp. And, so yeah, I mean, it's always unknown, especially how people are going to react to, to you know, big games last year. Um, I don't think we particularly did well against Liberty, uh, that big game, but then we kind of rallied in the playoffs and, and did, I think, much better as, as, as they grew up. Uh, these guys now understand what it takes uh, in terms of practice, what it's going to take in the weight room, and they've been in those situations before. I mean, they've been in an NCS semifinal football game. What did you take from last season going into this? Cause you, you kind of came in kind of midway through to take, a, to take the starter job a little bit up and down and then, and then went on that playoff run. What did you learn from that going into this year? I just learned that um, I have more potential. Um, last season, we did pretty good, made it to the second round playoffs. So we're building as a team in the off season right now, working hard. I'm working hard. My receivers are working hard. We're getting stronger. We're just all building up right now, getting ready for this upcoming season. Thank you.